Hi guys, my name is Rebecca. If you guys don't know me, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following, thank you so much for following my channel. So today is day 14, so two weeks of having Bell's palsy. And I feel like I've had a lot of progress in the past two weeks. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what is going on with me. So since the last time I made a video, I had, I've done two acupuncture sessions so far. I'm actually going to be doing a third one tomorrow, which I feel, acupuncture I feel is really helping me because it's help, it's helping to clear all the blockages and stimulate the nerve and whatnot. So that's been really good. I would highly recommend getting acupuncture if you have any negative blockages or if you have Bell's palsy. I would definitely recommend it. It doesn't, I don't feel like it's hurt by any means. Clear. So since I last made a video, I've had another acupuncture treatment or session and it's helped tremendously. Um, the other thing, I'm so I'm going to have another acupuncture appointment tomorrow. And if you have Bell's palsy, I would highly recommend getting acupuncture. If you don't and you have like negative stuff going on, like negative passages or negative blockages, I would definitely recommend getting acupuncture as well. Because it, it, if you look at Chinese medicine and all your energies, and it's just basically trying to rebalance your energy. Um, and also stimulating the nerve. Since I've had the Bell's palsy, I had my acupuncture treatment. I've also saw a specialist, he was a surgeon, and that appointment went well. I have to say he, he was a surgeon, obviously he's gonna talk about surgery, and what he pointed out to me, which I noticed, was my nose, if you guys look, um, my face isn't 100% symmetrical. Because, like, if you look, this is off to the side. And so I, I've noticed that. And that's completely normal if you have Bell's palsy. What I have noticed, though, is it's gotten a lot better. So this, this line is getting more defined. And it's starting to shift. So some other things that I've been doing in the past few days, I've actually been taping my face during the day. I don't have tape on right now, but I am going to make a video of what it looks like, what you can do. So if your face is not symmetrical, you can tape it because the muscles are so blah. They're just droopy right now. And the tape actually helps assist them, pull back, and put them sort of in the place to, that they're supposed to be so and it makes it easier throughout the day with the tape on even though it looks weird but there's like tips and tricks that you guys can do especially if you're a female or if a male if you're at work you could you know cover it up with makeup or put powder on it or something if you're at home who cares what you really look like I actually went to work and I had it on my face and no one they're like what happened to your face and I talked about it and it it was it was a good experience I people didn't really say too much about it so I've been doing that and I'm going to make a video on that so if you guys have Bell's palsy and you want to try taping it I definitely feel like it's improved the other thing that I have been doing besides eating super healthy I've been eating like I've cut pretty much all sugar out of my diet besides besides um like the vitamin C drops that I've been taking and like the juice that I've been drinking I have cut down on eating a lot like a food because I noticed eating and chewing it hurts right here so well so with that said I've lost some weight which I'm wasn't my goal but I'm happy that I did it because overall I feel better the food wise I think if you have Bill's palsy, I think you need to listen to your body and do what's race, what's best for you. But I've noticed because I talk a lot and with my job, I have to talk. I've noticed my muscles hurt from talking. And so I'm trying to not overuse them. And what the doctors explained to me is that they're hurting because they're being they're trying to be used. So it's like going to the gym and 
feeling sore the next day, but in your face, and you can really feel it. So I didn't, I've never really realized how many muscles that we used just to talk. And as a baby, we develop all these muscles, and we don't feel them. But when you lose your muscles, you don't realize how much we actually use our bodies. So I'm just trying to take it easy on myself and not overuse it. So smoothies were good. I've been pretty much on a liquid diet, um, but I but I do still eat a small meal where, that requires chewing because I still want to use the muscles. I just don't want to overuse them. So I think that's really important, but you need to do what's right for you. And I maybe talk to your doctor about stuff. I know a lot of people reached out to me and said, you know, you drink a lot of smoothies, juice, stuff like that. Um, so that's another thing I've been doing. And then I've been meditating a lot. And that's been super helpful. And just I think the biggest thing that I've learned through this whole experience so far is to really slow down and listen to your body. Um because we're so often in autopilot and just go, 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 go. And we don't really stop to think like, okay, like, what do I need? What do, what do I need? What is my body telling me? And instead of ignoring our body, we, we just keep going. And we don't realize we're really hurting ourselves more inside. And we don't stop to take the time to address the things that are going on. And we just let it like build and build and build and build. So that's, I think, the biggest lesson I've learned. The other, th I've learned a lot of stuff, and I've healed so much stuff, emotional stuff, physical stuff. But, um, but yeah, overall, there's so much progress, and I. And this might sound weird to say, but I'm actually grateful that I got Bell's palsy because, the, I needed to slow down. I needed to put myself first, and that's what this journey has really taught me so so yeah so okay I want to show you guys my movements and what's really interesting about my movements is the more and more that I unblock all that I sit and notice the stuff that's going on and I actually process some of the stuff that I've been not processing the more and more I process things the clearer and I can feel relief in my face so I don't know if that if that resonates with anybody if it does I I'm you know what I'm going through and I guess you get to experience the cool stuff that I get to experience so yeah so here's my movements so this is day 14 again so as far as talking I've learned to slow down and have to really think about what I'm going to say and pronunciate my words because my speech is off and it still is off. And you can see my mouth pulling more towards the side or my lips making that, but this is more flat. And so I've been practicing some exercises, which I'm going to make a video on for specifically for people that have Bell's palsy. If you are looking for exercises to do I did them but the biggest thing is don't overdo it you don't want to overdo it the next thing I noticed was my eye so it if you guys go back to a couple of my other videos you'll see when I try to shut my eye it looks painful and it looks like I'm straining it and it really was it, it felt like I was straining it and now I can shut my eyes and it doesn't hurt it doesn't strain it um, so I'll shut them. And so in the previous, like a, a few days ago, I would still have to assist it shut. I want to say around day like nine, ten, it felt a lot better. It wasn't like it closed much more easily. The one thing I will say is when I'm blinking, um, so this one obviously blinks a lot quicker and this one I can feel it blinking and people are saying they notice like that it's like twitching um, or like closing a little bit but not all the way. 
so that's really good improvement. Um, in my mouth, I can tell it's getting a little bit more defined and it's starting to shift over. Um, my smile, just without my teeth. So that, <laughs> it's more natural looking versus like lopsided. Um, the other thing, if I just smile like, so it's not, if you look at previous videos, if you look at previous videos, it, my lips weren't as, it, it wasn't making that movement, so that's an improvement. As far as regular smiling, like if I'm just like, I feel like it's getting better. Um, I think it's more or less I have to practice my stretches a lot more, so. Um, it's gotten better. I can tell you the pain in my ear all in here. So I've noticed when I'm really in tune with my body and I'm pretty self-aware. So I noticed when things are bothering me, I get more pain. Um, however, it keeps going. It, it goes back and forth. It, like it, it can be painful and it's more tender than anything. So the one thing I have been doing is taking an anti-inflammatory. So uh, ibuprofen. I've been taking that two, I've been taking about like 800 milligrams two to three times a day and that's just to help with the inflammation and it seems to be helping. I've also been keeping up with the magnesium lotion which has been working really well and I've been doing that like at night and um because I wake up and it's not that painful so but throughout the day it gradually increases so I've been using that. I've also been using some essential oils that has helped with circulation that has been really good which I'm going to make a whole nother video on essential oils um, but I've been using the cypress. I hope I'm saying that right. Cypress? Cypress. So that helps with blood circulation and I've been um, sometimes if you don't like the smell of essential oils this might not even be making sense if you guys don't know anything about essential oils, but sometimes if you don't like the smell of them, you can put them on your feet. So I've been putting them and like wearing it on the bottom of my feet every day because I want to stimulate and move. I need movement going on, right? So I've been using that. Some other things I've been doing. Oh, my eyebrows. Like, all right, so. So. I have to still like help my eyebrow lift. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's been, it's getting better. I can gradually see it's getting better. So that's been really good. And frowning. Like I feel like it's starting to go, but not really. And then my nose, like, like, <laughs> my lip goes up with it. But this side, it's, it's getting better. I can tell that when I do the exercises that I get, um, it, the muscle gets sore. It feels like I'm just like building the muscle. So I did notice in the past couple of weeks when I was chewing a lot of food and whatnot, I could feel along my jawline the muscle more dense than anything. And it was sort of uncomfortable. So that's why another reason why I sort of just switched to like a liquid liquid e-ish diet so yeah so that's pretty much my progress and this is week two and I am super excited the amount of stuff that I've overcame like just even emotionally just overcame which was great and then physically I just feel so much oh and then my ear so like there's days like I, I mentioned when there's more stress I feel like I can like feel my hearing has gotten a little bit better. It's it's got it goes it goes in waves. Like it gets better and then it goes down and goes in so it's going back and forth. But ultimately, I think just keeping up with like inflammation, like really like just, just putting yourself on a schedule. Um, one thing I can say it has made me more organized. I have definitely put myself on a schedule 
and it's helped me because I haven't been like I'll be the first to admit that I haven't been the best at doing a schedule in the past so so yeah this this has definitely taught me how to be more disciplined more organized and yeah more my day is more structured so I mean it's a positive it's a it's a positive right so yeah so that overall though I'm really excited and I'm proud of my journey and I've came so far and I know that I know that I'm gonna like overcome this and I know that everybody else can too if you put your mind to it and you accept and are open to healing your body not just like physically but in other aspects too so yeah so that is my progress and I hope you guys got something from this I hope this is encouraging some people and yeah so I will check in with you guys in a few days and in the meantime I'm gonna try to make the other videos because life I thought I was gonna have a little bit more time for videos but I realized like I have so much stuff going on and and it's good though to keep yourself busy to a certain extent but also to remember you have a purpose in life and you got to slow down and take care of yourself too. That's something that you just can't be on autopilot all the time because eventually it catches up with you. So we should really learn to slow down and listen to ourselves. We need to trust ourselves a little bit more and not ignore our own wants, needs, and desires because it's going to show up in, or it's going to create blockages or it's going to make you physically sick. So, yeah, I guess that's my biggest lesson that I've learned throughout this whole journey right now. So hopefully for people that have had Bill's palsy or if you don't or if you have any medical stuff going on, just pay attention to your body because somebody, a higher power or the universe or somebody is trying to tell you something and they're saying you need to slow down and take some time out for yourself. So, but I am overall gladly, I'm glad that this experience happened because there's a lot of, there, I've had a lot of stuff go on that I really needed clarity on and it, this, this experience, this event, life-changing event happened to me and yeah so I hope maybe this resonates with you guys if it doesn't thanks for listening <laughs> um but yeah so I'm overly joyed with everything going on and I will keep you guys updated in the upcoming videos and I will be making some videos this weekend of how to tape your face so if you know anyone that has Bill's palsy or if you Get it in the future and you want to refer back to this video so you know what to do or how to do it and yeah so I hope you guys all have a good day thanks for watching if you guys got some value out of this like subscribe stay up to date with me and I love everybody for reaching out and supporting me and saying kind words it really means a lot so I hope you guys all have a good day and for any of you that are going through this, just know that you're not alone and know that it will get better. If you believe. You gotta believe that it will. So, 